You're watching EAC News. Thank you for joining us. The Minister of Social Affairs, Veterans and Youth Rehabilitation, Chia Sometti, said that in the first nine months of 2023, the state has provided rehabilitation services and support packages to about 20,293 persons with disabilities, or PWD. EAC News reporter Anthony Ellis has more. Speaking at the official launch of the At Scale project at the Cambodiana Hotel this morning, Minister Chia Somati said that the Royal Government of Cambodia has made the disability sector a priority by rectifying the Convention of the Rights of the Persons with Disabilities, as well as the development and implementation of laws, policies and other national and international legal documents that strengthen health and welfare services for the PWD in alignment with Prime Minister Hun Manet's Pentagon strategy. The minister added that Cambodia has continued to sustain physical rehabilitation services for the PWD in the first nine months of 2023, with about 20,293 people with disabilities receiving free rehabilitation services of all kinds, along with support and travel, meals and accommodation during the service period. The government has also provided 7,626 physical support devices. The minister also said that 2,167 PWD, including 510 women, received a vocational training from the State Vocation Training Centre on key subjects in line with the market demand in Cambodia, while as many as 551 deaf and blind people learned the sign language and braille through the state and partner curricula. He said that overall, the Royal Government pays special attention to the health and the vulnerable, especially the disabled. In addition, PWD benefit from the National Society Assistance Program provided by the government. According to Minister Chi Somati, the total disability rate of the Kingdom of Cambodia is 4.9% of the total population, according to the 2019 census. The main causes of disability are malnutrition, genetics, traffic accidents, occupational accidents, landmines and unexploded ordnance, violence, disasters and ageing, depending on the demographics and the times. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.